A week ago, Goku faced challenging days as he continually dreamed of the same scenario. Losing the tournament of power and his universe being eliminated. I wouldn't know what to tell you. Maybe it could be your insecurities, Goku-san, Wis said seriously, looking at the Saiyan who sought his help. Goku responded, my insecurities? But I'm not insecure. I'm aware of my own strength, and what I can achieve. Wis countered, but before coming here, you could use Ultra Instinct at will. Now, perhaps unconsciously, you doubt your ability to win without accessing that state. Goku pondered, well, it's true that I can't access that state, but still. No. Enough, Goku-san. Listen, there's also the possibility that your dream is a premonition, Wis said seriously. A premonition? Goku questioned. Wis remarked. That's right, a dream that will come true. If this is the case, there will be nothing we can do. Goku determinately said, I won't allow it. I'll win that tournament no matter what it costs. We'll see. You and Miss Kefla are the most powerful here. If you can't comma, everything will be over, Wis commented, looking at the distance where Kefla and Broly were locked in battle. But there's also Broly, he's very powerful, Goku replied, observing Kefla gaining a clear advantage over the Saiyan in their fight. It is, but do you notice the difference? There's a huge gap between Broly and Kefla. Worth mentioning, he's using Super Saiyan comma, and she isn't, Wis explained. Goku questioned, and his uncontrolled transformation? With curiosity, Wis responded, it's very difficult for him to access that form, and he also can't control it. This was the best advance we've made. Goku pressed, and currently, how strong is he? Wis explained, I'll put it this way. Beerus will have a power of 10, you a 2.5, and Keflo a 1. But, Broly and controlled, Super Saiyan currently has a 0.2. It's very little. Goku exclaimed, what? Seriously, so little? And when does he get out of control? Wis elaborated, there's the big difference. When he's out of his mind, his power increases up to 6. A big difference, hum? And did you take him inside your staff? There the gravity is much heavier. Goku inquired. We tried, but he's not ready. He can't last even 5 seconds, Wis replied. Goku sighed, damn, we'll do this. I'll train a year on Earth with Kefla. And then we'll come here. Is that okay? Suddenly, there was an explosion, pum. They both looked towards the source finding a crater where Broly lay unconscious. Kefla approached, admitting, I think I got carried away. With a smile, Wis chuckled, ha ha ho, you have improved a lot since the last time, miss. What training do you two have? Goku explained, that's why I was telling you on Earth. There's a place where we train, and one day outside is equal to a year inside. Kefla added, so, I increased my power a lot. I completely dominated Super Saiyan and the Super Saiyan phase too. Wis nodded. I understand. Then you'll come in a year. Kefla questioned, what? With an arched eyebrow. Goku affirmed, that's right, we'll train as much as we can there, and after you train us, we'll be like gods of destruction. Wis chuckled, ha ha ho, so that was your plan. Kefla was about to speak, but suddenly her vision clouded, and she fell unconscious to the ground. Goku rushed to catch her with concern, while Wis, astonished and curious, decided to cure her with his staff while continuing the conversation with Goku. Goku continued, when we come back, Broly will go to Earth with the others. There are battles on the horizon, and the others need to become strong. If they lose, Broly will come into action. Wis remarked, Goku-san has everything planned. Goku expressed, yes, but now I have in mind that dream where they erase us from existence. Wis reassured, you just have to become much stronger. Notice that in your maximum transformation, you slightly surpass Beerus? That's a good thing. But Jiren goes far beyond a god of destruction. And that other opponent seems stronger than Jiren. Goku replied seriously. Whis smiled and responded. Then become stronger than him. You have great potential next to her. Even more than Broly's. Suddenly, Whis opened his eyes with astonishment. And his staff stopped shining. After a few seconds, Kefla woke up. Goku asked, do you feel better? Kefla replied. Yes, it must have been because of the fight. Nothing to worry about, as she stood up. In fact, you are expecting a baby, Wis announced. Both Saiyan smiled and hugged each other. And Kefla began to cry with emotion. However, Wis interrupted the happiness of the Saiyans, saying, I'm sorry to ruin your joy, but Kefla won't be able to have training in that state. Kefla, wiping her tears, separated from the hug and nervously asked Wis, Are you sure? I mean, I don't know much about pregnancies, but we're Saiyans. We're more resistant, right? Wis replied with a smile, from my point of view, you should take precautions and handle your pregnancy well for everything to go smoothly. 
There will be time for training later, glancing at Goku, who was visibly happy about the news. Whis thought, now you'll have more motivation to improve yourself. Goku suggested, if you have doubts, we can ask my mother for advice, don't you think? Kefla agreed, it's true. Whis chuckled, ha ha ho, it seems the main theme will be forgotten for a few years, although I'm curious about what your son will be like, saying the latter in a low voice, contemplating what a child of two gods of destruction would be. Goku suddenly realized Mr. Whis. Now that I notice it, I don't see Mr. Paragus. Did he leave? Kefla added, it's true. I haven't seen him. Whis chuckled, ha ha ho, Mr. Paragus is cleaning the castle, while Beera sleeps, laughing with one hand covering his mouth. Both Saiyans had an anime-style drop in reaction. Kefla suggested, well, I think we should go to your mother, right, honey? Looking at her partner, Goku enthusiastically agreed. Oh yes, yes, we have to fix that matter. Whis advised, I hope your doubts are clarified, Miss Kefla. Don't forget my recommendation. Don't train. Don't overexert yourself. Kefla assured, I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Wiss. You're the guide, hee hee. And so, both Saiyans disappeared from the place thanks to Goku's teleportation. Goku had clarified his doubts and felt better emotionally. Meanwhile, Wiss stared at the sky, contemplating what Goku had said. If that were the case, he would need to get Broly to master his power to be of help in the upcoming tournament, which likely couldn't be prevented. That night in Goku's dream, Goku found himself in a dream where Jiren was defeated, standing next to another opponent even more powerful. Goku, confident, said, give up? We are two against one. You won't be able to win. However, in the blink of an eye, the mysterious opponent effortlessly defeated both Saiyans. Your destiny is marked. I'm inevitable, he declared seriously, struggling to stand. Goku and Kefla looked at the subject with a smile. Goku Kefla, and we are. We are the saviors of Universe 7. They shouted in unison. A golden aura enveloped Goku, and a silver one enveloped Kefla. Goku then woke up, smiled, realizing that the future was not predetermined and could be changed. He settled down, hugging Kefla, and went back to sleep with a big smile.